Machine learning algorithms such as uh, classification, similarity, clustering, regression, all of those are going to allow the user to get a better and more detailed and accurate understanding on the patterns that can be displayed by the data. You are going to start seeing some uh, patterns, some clusters, and that's going to allow you to go ahead and make more advanced analytical conclusions about your data. We're going to see a couple of methods to do this uh, advanced uh, machine learning within the Spotify out-of-the-box capabilities. Option number one, k-means clustering. So what is a typical application of that? Let's say you have many variables, in this case a1, a2, this can be anything, once again. can be, for example, different geology information. And you have this by an exact latitude and longitude point of the map. So to see if we have any kind of a cluster within all these variables, we want to run the k-means clustering option. The first step for a successful k-means clustering analysis is to have the data on the right format. Our first approach to this is use the line chart option. If you have uh, data that, is, that looks like this in the table, your first step is going to be to use all those variables on the y-axis, use in this case a1, a2, or whatever uh, columns you are using. The aggregation doesn't really matter too much at this point because we want to see if we have any patterns here. So I'm just going to go ahead and do an average for all of them. Now, the next key point is to change your x-axis. And instead of using any of the columns, just keep the column names. So you can actually have different um, visualization of all the columns that you have over there. And now, remove the color by and be sure that you have one line representing each of the rows that you have on your table. So if uh, you have different information per well, for example, each row is going to represent a well, and you want to be sure that each of those rows from the table, it's going to have a line here. So the line by is going to be by row number. Okay. Once you have these, you can see how you start seeing some groups. Like, okay, it seems to be a pattern with whatever my B1 column means. And it seems to be a pattern from all the wells to sh showing the same amount of kind of same value for the A1, C1, and so on. So from here, we can easily right-click of the mouse, came in clustering, different techniques to do it. If you need uh, more explanation about what's going on here, just click on the help. And this is going to give you more, more details, including the math that is happening be behind the scenes. But for this exercise, I'm just going to go ahead and create five clusters and see how this looks like on my map. So at this point, I can actually have a new column to color by each of these um, boxes is representing a group of wells or a group of markers or my group of rows that are having similar behavior for all the categories that I am comparing. So if you want to see this side by side, for example, with a map, we can do so. And we can actually use the color by using the same uh, data that we just created, which is the k-means cluster. So now, if we highlight something from the plot, it's going to get highlighted on the map, and you can see how this specific group of wells, or this specific group of any category that I have on my data, it's been highlighted on the map, and the different uh, clusters are being highlighted by the different colors. So if you have, for example, um, geology information, you can see that these patterns are starting to make sense based on a geographical location, based on uh, some different uh, topography characteristics, and so on. 
So this is just one of the examples. Another example is using a regression algorithm. So if we want to do a multivariable model, let's say we have a table and that in that table we have data that is representing some response. Examples for that response can be production, total of production, can be total of sales, can be total of a uh, number of clients, can be many, many, many things. So in a general way, you just have a response. And we want to know how each of these variables is affecting that response. So we're going to create a multivariable model that is going to describe this response in function of the variables that we think that are affecting that response and we can see if these uh, variables are in fact affecting this response and if we have some variables that are affecting more than others or how this is going to work. So to do so, we go to Tools, Regression Modeling and we can select from two out-of-the-box methods. Those are the linear regression or the regression tree. For my example, I'm going to use the linear regression and what we want to do is be sure that we select the right uh, response column here and then select the right columns that we want to use to include on that model. So in this specific case, I am including my columns and this is my model. I want to predict response and I want to use my variables A1 to C1 highlighted here. Once I click OK, automatically a Spotfire is going to create all of this for me. So this is an actual model. It's a linear regression model that is predicting response in terms of my other variables that I selected there. I will have my table of coefficients. I will have all the statistics that I need to evaluate this model. And I will also have some visualizations that I can see right away. For example, these uh, residuals versus fitted, where you can see that this is kind of random, you don't have any specific pattern over there. At the same time, we have another one here, the variable of importance, where we can see that definitely C1 is a big part of my response, but uh, B1 not so much. So a next step for this kind of analysis could be just to edit the model and remove B1, for example, and rerun the model and see if we have uh, new uh, outputs over there and see how all my table coefficients is changing and all my statistics are changing as well. So these are just quick examples on how you can go and apply more advanced techniques within a spot file to take you one step farther from the basic analytics that you are doing on your day.